Well, someone has figured out a way to work out and clean up at the same time. It mixes paddle boarding with protecting the environment. Eyewitness News reporter Pat Gallen is live at Spruce Street Harbor Park at Penn's Landing. Morning, Patrick. Good morning, guys. Perhaps you remember me doing yoga on the stand up paddle board last summer. Well, we're taking it to new heights this year. This is my friend John Mars from Aquavita. Hi. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> so, you are helping the environment while getting a little bit of a workout in. So tell yeah. us what that's all about. Yeah, that's exactly it. Um, so we've taken our stand-up paddle boarding program here at the waterfront and we've added a little element of um, philanthropy with our Save a Night programs on Friday evenings. We stand up paddle board and collect trash around the harbor. Um, typically it's water bottles, uh, plastic caps, uh, straws, lots of straws. We collected a little bit already yeah, this morning. Yeah, we've already found it. Um, it pools in certain places here, so we've kind of got um, a little know-how of where to find it, and sure. we've, been, we've been doing a lot here. So most people obviously want to help the environment. How's oh, yeah. the turnout been? Oh, that's actually our most popular program, believe it or not. It's donation-based, which is really cool. All the profits go to our local water conservation efforts. Great. Um, we're also launching a hashtag We Drink This Water campaign later this summer. Very nice. Um, we just want to remind people that this is our drinking water. This is our supply. Sure. So uh, the more we can do to protect it and conserve it, the healthier we'll be and the environment will be. So while you help, you get a little bit of a, a workout in, you get the blood flowing a little bit, and you get this beautiful view yeah, here at Spruce Street Harbor Park. You can't beat this. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. Stand-up paddle boarding is a low-impact full-body workout. Um, in one hour of stand-up paddle boarding, you can burn about as much as you can in one hour of, um, of swimming. So it's really a great way to get your workout in, sure. help the environment, have fun with friends, um, and just soak in the beautiful summer season. It's a beautiful morning for it. We've got our friends out here looking for trash. It's, it's pretty clean, so you guys must be doing a good job so far. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we try our best. <laughs> so in addition to this, you guys do tours out here as well, which I love. So yes. people can come down, kind of check it out, get the workout in as well. Yeah, yeah, we do select uh, private stand-up paddle boarding tours. Um, you can just go on our website. It's aquavita.com. You can take a look at our schedule there. Also, you can just email us, and, um, and we can help you put something together. And you're still doing the, the yoga, too? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's pretty popular. <laughs> That's our mainstay. Yeah, we love the floating yoga. Um, we're also doing a HIIT workout on the board. Um, and this year, we added like a Pilates-inspired um, yoga class as well. So. Jana, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you guys. guys. We appreciate thank it. Thank you. So does Mother Earth. <laughs> So guys, this is a lot of fun, a good workout. I'm feeling it burning on the legs already. I know Jim Rahel, especially Rahel probably wants to see me fall in, but I have a very expensive <laughs> microphone, Pat, so I'm not gonna do that. Because I would only, be disowned by CBS. I'm only ever nice to you. I don't I know would what do you mean this, by though. that. I would actually do this. If you want to do this for sure. a day thing, I'll, yeah. I'll come along. Yeah, let's do it. All right, thank you, Patrick. Yeah. Appreciate it. Pat